Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. I know we have seen a heck of a lot of the homes from the Louisville Manufactured Home Show, so I decided to have a break, and that break is today. So, we are here at Grandin Homes in New Salisbury, Indiana, and we are gonna take a tour of this home right behind me, which happens to be the Sunshine 250. And today, I'm gonna have Ty join us to tell us a little more about the home, because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm definitely not a salesman. I am a media specialist that has been doing videos since 1998, and some details I might miss. So I thought it might be a good idea to bring in a person who knows all about the home. So we're gonna turn this around go and uh, get started. I'm gonna show you the exterior of the home, then we're gonna go inside. But let's see, let's flip this around. Ooh, it's really windy out here. Ooh, I hope you can hear me okay. There we are, there we are. All right, everybody, this is the Sunshine PRI 3270-2050. This home is a three bed, two bath, and it sits at 1,980 square feet. The base price of this home is about 250 to $275,000. But once we go in and we talk to Ty, he's gonna tell us a little more about that. So here is the exterior. For some reason, YouTube seems to be choppy, so I hope it's not choppy on your end, but we'll see. Nice little, I and mean, one thing that I like about the, um, the exterior right here is that rock work right there is hand laid. Um, one time I was actually at the Sunshine plant watching them do this and they literally take it out, size it up, hit the saw, put it right back up. Really good work, really good craftsmanship. So that's what we're looking at right now. But hey, you know what? Let's get inside this home and take a good look at it. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you have any questions or concerns, comments or whatever, just leave them there and I will answer. But here we go. All right, guys, we're walking into the Prime 2050. And as you can see, it is a nice drywall home and we're gonna spin around and say hi to Ty. Ty is a sales consultant here at Granin Homes. Really awesome stand-up guy. Um, just a quick question for you, Ty. Yep. I just let everybody know that the home cost is about $250,000 to $275,000. Uh, yep. What does that entail? What does that include here in um, New Salisbury, Indiana? Yep, so really, you know, Granin's motto overall is just kind of trying to elevate you know, the whole manufactured modular home experience. So when we look to price out our homes, we're including as much as we can in that overall package, especially with the way our company's set up, Granted Homes, you know, we have a sister company, essentially Sillings and Company. It's a wife-husband combo. So they're the ones that we're using to set, deliver homes, most of our co uh, contract labor work. Um, so when we price out our homes, we're including, obviously uh, along with the home itself, we're including delivery, uh, perimeter concrete footers, cross runners to set the home on for the foundation. We're including the perimeter block over the vinyl skirting. Um, we just feel that that is a better place to start with. Um, it's also going to present a little bit better. And then it's also including the stainless steel appliances that you're going to see in the kitchen in a second, as well as 14 sear high efficiency heat pump, two six by six decks at the front door and on this home the side, and gutters, downspouts, and waterproofing. Um, waterproofing is another kind of silly example of granted homes. You know, it's not something that they necessarily have to include, but a quality assurance thing, that's a quick and easy way to avoid some major issues down the road and spend the 400 bucks now compared to, you know, wishing you had done it in about five years if something were to happen. But, you know, this home, it's going to come in about 250,000 for the manufactured build. At Grandin, we do do a, quite a bit of modulars as well. And so that we're looking at about 275,000 on this home because of some additional material in the build as well as our setup costs to get a crane in and set it on the foundation. Speaking of cranes, I was actually fortunate enough yesterday, video coming soon, everybody, but I was fortunate enough to film uh, Sillings & Co. and Grandin um, put together a Briar Ritz on top of a basement with a crane. And that was one of the coolest things I think I've seen in a long time. So like I said, video coming soon and and, and look out for that. So yeah. this is awesome. Yeah, Ty, tell us a little more about, about the home um, and, and all its details, man. Yeah, so, and the Briarwoods is a really good example actually too, because 
you know, in this whole industry, there's a ton of options and customizations that you can make on these homes. Um, and this does a really good job of capturing kind of that farmhouse aesthetic that I don't think is ever going to go out of style. Uh, you're going to have a lot of darks, a lot of brown cabinetry, and obviously you can't miss that wood burning fireplace. Uh, on our site, we have a couple homes with electric inserts, but showing the capability of a true wood burning fireplace, along with that awesome stone mantle and setting, you know, it really makes a room pop. Plus, you know, if you're looking for a focal piece or like a talking point, whenever you have friends, family, or guests over, that's something that's clearly hard to miss. And having grown up in a manufactured home with a wood burning fireplace in it, um, I just love the sound of, you know, wood crackling when it's burning. So love the fireplace, I'm a really big fan. And then obviously this kitchen is Fantastic. And real quick, guys, just to let you know, the size of that living room is 19 mm -hmm. feet by 14 and a half feet. Just a, a guesstimation on the 14 yep. and a half, but there's yeah. that. And then this kitchen, yeah, tell us about it. This kitchen is, yeah. is gorgeous. I can't say enough. Yeah. So I think one of the big things for me anyway is all the doors and drawers and storage that you're going to have in here. Uh, obviously, we've got the corner pantry that will crack open here in a second, but I mean, backside of the island, we're going to have all of our storage we've got you know your full length drawers that everything in the sunshine home is going to be soft clothes so you don't have to worry about slamming it or waking up you know if you're going to get your midnight snack you're not going to wake up anybody slamming doors and drawers so plenty of storage in here as well um, sunshine and all of our homes they're using beco appliances now which if you've done any kind of research into them are all fantastic uh, you know and it's, it's just little things like this that are going to come with the home that kind of set it off. Uh, now, on the pantry, you know, <laughs> we're kind of get a laugh right now. But right now, we've got to get this modified. The 2050, we had just set it up, and actually, we're looking at some closet shelving. <laughs> but, you know... We have a closet in the pantry. Some, exactly. We're going to get some uh, pantry shelving in here, and, you know... This is one of the things that I really appreciate about homes. It's just being able, when we get this pantry fixed and organized, being able to you know store all of your canned goods and, and groceries day to day. It's a quick trip from there to the oven and back. Huge island to cook on. And then obviously those canned lighting, mason jar lighting throughout the home is kind of really set it off because it's a continued thing. And that's one thing that they do really well in this home specifically from the shiplap coat rack coming in the trim running around the home, the cabinets, it all really kind of works together to tie itself into a beautiful farmhouse look. Because the farmhouse design has been, I mean, honestly, in manufactured housing for the past, uh, gosh, five years at least, it's been a very popular design, a very, you know, yeah. I mean, manufactured housing has really been really big on, on open floor plans um, as well, which, you know, I mean, it's, it's aesthetically pleasing, you know? Um, I, I like the, uh, the, the crown molding. You have a nice dark wood trim all around the house. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, actually, in a second, let's go take a look at some of the, uh, the, the, the guest areas yep. and see what's that all about. Because, you know, at $250,000, I mean, everybody knows that I'm from California. So for me, this is <laughs> a price point that it, you know, I can totally, totally take, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So just uh, this first guest room, just before we get started, this guest room is 11 feet by 14 and a half feet. So yes. yeah, both of them are actually. Yeah. So the good thing about this one with the home being about 2000 square foot overall, you know, you've got plenty of space and I think it's a really good layout because you've got a lot of space in your common area being the living room, kitchen and dining table, but you don't have to compromise on your second and third bedrooms, right? We get a lot of families in here with one uh, or two children and obviously want them to have plenty of room in the bedroom, put the bed, have some toys and closet as well. So with this size, you know, you can put your full size, even a queen size bed if you wanted to go crazy with it. And you're still going to have plenty of space, standing dresser, toys in the corner. They're going to have plenty of room to make this space their own. And then especially with a closet of that size and a second bedroom, being able to walk in it just for reference, right? Being able to walk in, hang clothes, put some shelving, and really maybe shoes up top. And again, kind of make the space your own. It's awesome being able to provide this for, you know, first, second, one, two kids, or 
maybe in-laws if they're coming over to stay. Nice. So nice. before we jump into that, we've got the second bathroom that's going to be connected or right off the side here. Um, we've got some shelving storage for your toilet accessories. And we've got your tub in here if you want to squeeze through. Uh, that's going to be pretty common in your second bathrooms throughout these homes. Yeah. And it's just a dual purpose unit. Yeah, Sitting 30 by thing. 60, uh -huh. the normal fiberglass unit, most in every home. You know, these designs only just vary just a little bit, to be yeah. honest. And I think the one thing, one of the things that these manufacturers do really well is there's a lot of time and energy into the things that kind of matter, even if you're considering the secondary market and resale down the road. There's a ton of room in closets, right? Here we are in bedroom three. Again, massive closet for a third bedroom. Being able to stand in, move around uh, to, for all your clothes and whatnot. Storage, going referencing back to the kitchen, there's a ton of cabinet space, countertop space, and we haven't even got to the master bath yet. But you know, those are kind of your bigger ticket items. Again, down the road, after you spend your 20, 30 years happily in the home, if you are considering resale down the road, you know, that's something that people are going to look for. And you know what, that's actually what's, what's, what's awesome you mentioned that because that's one of those uh, often misconceptions that manufactured housing doesn't, you know, accrue um, any kind of equity and so forth. Well, you know, it, it, that's, that's, that's half false because basically, you know, if you're in a community, of course, you know, you're sitting on somebody else's land. But when you're sitting on your own land on top you know, with your manufactured home, especially a mod, you are going to gain equity. I do, I can't remember the actual numbers right there, right now, but they were on par with uh, stick built housing, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that, so again, you know, your sales rep, wherever you go, Brandon here, me, Megan, et cetera, you know, we can talk through and kind of help guide you down that process of what to actually look for in a home. But like, like I was saying, going back to the manufacturer versus mod and this, you know, some people are going to want and really consider resale. Uh, like you were saying, modulars held their value consistent here back in this last home craze, right alongside your stick builds. Uh, manufacturers also did a really good job of praising. You know, we weren't losing money by buying a manufactured home. Uh, but I mean, even when you go to lenders, your mods are going to pull from comps against your site built homes, the local subdivision, your stick built home that's gonna be on the county road down the street, you know, mods are gonna compare right up against them as far as lenders are concerned. And the crazy thing is, is they are pretty much made almost the exact same way, except for the difference of, yeah. of you know, the, the, the state, city, or regional codes, it's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, and hey, right, by the way, you know, if you guys can see it, that's the one thing everybody doesn't like about manufactured housing. <laughs> I need a quarter inch driver to get to my hot water heater access. Why don't we just put a door there, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, and you got a couple of kind of standard features. Manufactured housing has come an incredibly long way. I mean, I'm sure if you're looking at Sunshine, again, this home shows you what's possible with some of the additions and the add-ons. Um, but, I mean, I, it's a healthy compromise for, for me with what else I'm getting in the home. I mean, we've got our mud sink in the mudroom along with the washer and dryer. I would even, personally, if I was talking to someone about this home, I'd talk through adding some additional counter space here. Mm, that's a great when, idea. When I like doing my laundry, because if I don't do it right away, it just doesn't get done, right? Coming in, taking it out of the dryer, coming over, and then just folding everything as soon as it happens. Uh, like I said, I'll get sidetracked, have to go make dinner for the two-year-old and, and wife and whatnot, and then, you know, I come back and maybe I've lost motivation. So personally, <laughs> I would talk through adding some counter top space here, uh, maybe a ship lap to just continue to the theme throughout the home, but, uh, and sunshine's more than capable of making that happen. Nice, nice. Right. Um, What's left? Let's see. let's go look at the, all that good stuff. have the best part right. And then also, guys, I know we're getting a lot of information, but if you need to know more information, there's a link in the description below. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some more uh, videos, some more photos, 3D tours, and get some pricing directly from a retailer that's near you. Because right now, of course, we're talking about Indiana, or mm -hmm. what is it, uh, 
Te- go to, how did you- Kentuckyana. That's it, Kentuckyana. You know, I heard that for the first time, and I travel a lot, and I just kind of giggled. Yeah. And also, if you haven't had a chance, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way, you'll always know when a new home tour is posted, or if I get crazy and go live and don't let anybody know about it. So, so. before we crack open, let's get the door. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's, let's let's save that for last. Feature. Absolutely. Uh, but. Yeah, absolutely. Because Kentuckyana, we're in a really unique spot because we're what thirty minutes from Louisville, and then we're probably what hour hour thirty minutes from Ohio. So I can probably get the Cincy from here in about an hour and a half. So uh, oh, yeah, good. unique position. But you know, we're dealing more so with Indiana, top to bottom, setting homes up even near kind of Crown Point, Chicago area in some cases. Uh, and then all of Kentucky, obviously, as well. Yeah, so if you guys are in the area, I mean, honestly, Grand and Homes, um, they are amazing, absolutely amazing. But before we go on, I just want to make sure I say it, because I will forget, you guys know it. This uh, master bedroom is 16 feet, 1 inches, by 14 feet, 5 inches. Not too bad. Yeah, so, and you got plenty of options here, too, um, just kind of with the room layout. This is something I'm always considering when I'm showing a home or we're talking through it, it's just kind of bed placement, how much furniture can I get into a room, uh, just kind of practically where am I gonna put all my stuff personally, right? But this room is plenty big, um, it is massive, even when you're considering it is a master or owner suite, plenty of room for your queen, king size bed, potentially dressers, drawers, additional storage, um, and then obviously, with the bed placement, you've got these two huge windows here that's gonna let in a lot of light to your room. Uh, whether you wanna put some <laughs> shades there, uh, curtains <laughs> to block the sun from waking you up in the morning or not. Personally, I like the big blackout ones that don't let in any, any sunlight. Oh, heck uh, yeah. But those are awesome. So here is the amazing thing about the house. So behind the double bar doors, we have Voila. an incredibly lavish master bathroom. So. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, we'll go to the left because, you know, um, I like that, uh, that soaker tub. So yes. we'll just go take a look at that real quick. Yeah. So the cool thing about the bathroom <clears throat> is it is a true his and hers. So, I mean, even boiled down uh, to the vanities as well. So we're on the hers side technically right now. Yeah. Divvy it up how you want, right? Right. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense because, you know, right? the, the makeup area right yeah. there, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> we've got a little beauty station. There it is. That's the word. Designed, uh, set down, vanity, well, makeup in the morning, potentially, uh, or use it how you want. And then vanity, access to the soaker tub, quick and easy. And then we have shelving that's going to look consistent I'm a little familiar already you know i'm right? surprised i'm surprised <laughs> that there's not a pantry in here i wanted to see a pantry that would have been great if they would have yeah. had a pantry in one of these yeah, yeah that would <laughs> I saw some in my closet. right there we go there we go can you give me the wheaties they're yeah. in the bedroom uh and then on the other side we've got a very similar layout we've got the closet that are identical to the one mm-hmm. we just looked at and then on this side we just have some additional storage space. So. Let's take a look how much linen storage we have, everybody. Yeah. And then the uh, the quality construction in there. That's not, you know what I mean? That's not exposed particle board exactly. or, or pressed wood or anything. There it is. There it is. Um, really yeah. nice. And, of course, like you were saying, soft clothes. Yep. So we got the soft clothes cabinet still continued throughout the home. Vanity. And then you've got your lavatory closet. So we got the wood back here, some overhead shelving and storage again. Decorate, hide your spare rolls of toilet paper up top. <laughs> Keep everything clean and simple. Right. Um, and then the cool thing about the t- shower that we're in now is that there are access points at both sides. So no matter which side of the bathroom you're using, you got easy access to the shower. And then this thing is pretty massive as well. Uh, there is the setup here. We got the overhead. Uh, Oh, why am I thinking? Blank on the word now. I always call it a rain shower head because yeah. I forget. So, yeah. <laughs> shower, that's good for me. Shower head. Cool. Overhead shower head. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. that's too many words. <laughs> Over top shower head. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm call it. It rains down on you. And then we've got the second attachment in there as well. If you it's want awesome. to watch Harvey. So, uh, usually, you know, crack a silly joke about the wife being able to take both closets. The cool thing about this little decoration piece, essentially, right here, is that. You know, there's the three 
pieces of cabinetry down at the bottom for oh, nice. additional storage. Okay. So we've got some additional storage down here that maybe the gentleman can use. <laughs> That's all they get, dude. That's all they get. <laughs> and shoes and whatnot. But you know, for me, brush my house slippers, sit down, take my house slippers off, jump into the, the shower. Uh, and this is an absolutely massive amazing and ladies and gentlemen what i liked what i liked let me just say it right now is those are real doors and they're not barn right yeah right yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't like the uh, the barn doors so that's that's been i don't know i think it's a kind of a fun running the, gag the sliding yeah 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 the sliding uh, barn doors you yeah, know thanks they look really good mm -hmm. you know but i can understand the I don't practicality know. of it right and just like the day-to-day -day -day use sliding in and out uh, I'd rather have a pocket. Are, uh, oh, those are nice and heavy. Lavish. You know, they're yes. white to the door. Uh, and I think they just look cool, too. Yeah, they do. They actually, I mean, they add uh, add some more to the aesthetic of the home, you know? Yeah. So this is... Plus, you want to lock yourself in there. Oh, you can. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> you can't usually do that with barn doors. So, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, here's a little quick. Let's take a look. We miss a little cleaning closet here right by the uh, master. They're using it for a little bit of storage, so you know... It can hold some stuff. So, all right. This is a wonderful home. Yeah. Wonderful home. So, one of the things that we're also talking through, usually when we go through the 2050, again, for people watching, is, you know, one of the, the good, unique things about the manufacturing module home industry is the ease of customization as mm -hmm. well. So, you know, maybe for Sunshine specifically, you have... You know, maybe a larger family, you want that second room, essentially. You know, Sunshine has a bunch of different floor plans to where you can basically transpose this style. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you know, let's just flip that camera around. <laughs> yeah, because, awesome. you know, and the home tour is done, almost done, pretty much. So, yeah. yeah. So, what are you saying? Uh, so, like, for Sunshine specifically, you know, they've got a, a number of different floor plans. You know, we do a lot with the 2010, which is a four-bedroom bonus. But, you know, just this morning early, actually, I was talking through... You know, with a bigger family, three kids, we're talking to the 2010, and they said, oh, you know, we really wish this was more of a farmhouse theme style. There were some, you know, accent pieces that we really sink our teeth into. So I'm like, okay, hang on. You know, mm -hmm. so we come in, climb into this thing, um, and I, I basically told them, like, you know, don't pay too much attention to the floor plan, but definitely look at what's capable in mm -hmm. a sunshine home, because we can take this fireplace or these beams or this color cabinetry lighting and we can kind of transpose it over to the 2010 or another sunshine model and you know that's where i think the beauty of it is is you can kind of quickly customize everything mm -hmm. specific to like your tastes and your style right so but this does a really good job of capturing farmhouse aesthetic it's got a lot of upgrades and features mm -hmm. that are really going to make this feel like a home and it's going to give it a more of a cozy one. Oh, absolutely. I can, I can only imagine like putting a, you know, a, a garage over there on the side. Uh, and I mean, just making this home completely, completely residential style. Yeah. So, I love it. So, um, yeah, the, this is an awesome home tour. Um, thank you so much. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, you know, I hope everybody liked this because, you know, this is the first time that I asked somebody to talk with me, you know. So uh, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. If you have any questions, um, let me know. And if I can't answer them, I'll call Ty real quick. <laughs> so, um, you know, there it is. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, I hope to see you again on the next home tour, wherever that's going to be. I just needed a serious break from all those Louisville manufactured home tours because I got a few more coming. So on Friday, Monday, next week, yeah, they're coming. They're coming. So I'll look for that. And uh, thanks again, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the home tour. Have a great one. Hope you're doing well. And uh, live smarter. Choose manufactured. Travel easy. We'll see you next time. See you, everybody. Take care. Thanks, Ty. That's a